Run, ball, run! That was pure. Hey, what up, bowlers? Welcome back to the Bowling Nights Garage Shop for episode 20, twin, twin of the Real League Bowlers Experience. Let's talk bowling. And everything else. And everything else. Hey, I'm Joe Bowler, and as always, I got my brother from another mother here. Bud, Bud, what up, Bud? What up, America? Glad to see you got some clothes on after you did yeah. that streaking. A little chilly. A little chilly. <laughs> Bud was streaking in our latest episode of Henley Bar View with the uh, Roto Grip Wild Streak, man. Uh, that was a pretty good ball for you. A uh, pretty good episode of the Henley Bar View. So if y'all ain't seen that one yet, uh, check that out. Uh, Bud doing a little streaking, man. So, Bud, man, what else been going on? Did you, did you, did you bow good this week? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not, man. Hey, uh, I bowed all right the first two games this week, man. I shot, what I shoot, like 236, 240. Yeah. And then the last game, my real league bowlerism kicked in. It was like 157. Bam! Hit him with that 157. That's how yeah. it's done, Bud. Bud, what you shoot this week? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. It's always around. 610 to 6. Well, you smashed them at first. You had like 680 with the. Uh, oh, smashed them. That's pretty good, man. That's like your highest. That was my average. No, that was my average last year. It was. What's been happening, man? I don't know. We need to get some new plastic balls coming yeah. out. Hey, did you see that uh, Lane One's bringing back that clear blue yeah. diamond, man? That's exciting. Hey, if y'all ain't seen that, uh, <clears throat> Lane One, they haven't put out a ball. How long has it been? Like two or three years? I uh, didn't even know they existed anymore. Yeah, man. So uh, it's exciting that uh, Lane One's actually uh, coming back. We got one of the old clear. We got one of the old clear blue diamonds right mm. down there. Yeah, we uh, did a review on that a long time. A long ago. time ago. Hey, that uh, Lane One balls are some of my favorite stuff ever made, man. The tsunamis and yeah. Supernova XP. Yeah, I like the Supernova Dude, XP. How good was that ball? The blue and yellow. Yeah, like or, a blue and gold yeah, color. Man, them balls are good. So uh, we're excited that uh, Lane One's uh, making a comeback here. Hopefully, uh, you know, they'll, they'll produce some more stuff because it was definitely good. So, uh, Bud, what else is going on, man? We got some new balls coming out this week. A couple. A couple no, of new not balls. this week, but... Well, yeah, it's been a while since we've done an episode of, of the Real League Bowlers Experience. There's been a few balls, so uh, we're going to run through the newest ones. Uh, uh, the newest one coming. Uh, the Motive Alpha Jackal. Alpha Jackal, a new Jackal from Motive, man. Hey, that ball looks, looks pretty, pretty good. good yeah, I mean, it's, uh, what color? Purple, yeah. purple yeah, and purple blue. And looks pretty cool. What color is the logos on this one? Black. Okay, black. the Jackal has black. Looks like silver on the lettering, and then the let the jack of lettering silver. Man, it looks pretty good. And a heavy old ball, a new heavy old ball. This is supposed to be the most aggressive jackal uh, that they've come out with yet. So it's this. It's got the same weight block, right, bud? Mm -hmm. What's the name of that block? Does it say on there? That's been in all the jackals. Predator V two. Predator V two block that was in, uh, you know, like the golden jackal. It has uh, a ghost jackal. And they've had. They've had quite a few jackals now, so yeah. Um, yeah so uh, what's the uh, what's the RG and differential looking like on this one? RG's two point four seven. Differential's point zero five four. All right, so this is gonna be a lot of balls. Gonna rev up right off your hand. Probably the same as the rest of them. Yeah. What's the uh, very strong mid lane and back end motion? There you go. Very strong mid lane back end motion. Uh, this is their higher end stuff, right, man? So it's yep. gonna be. Uh, Probably 170, 175, somewhere around there. Comes out January 15th. January 15th. Of the new this year. One. Hey, this is going to be a, a lot of ball, man. Oh, yep. We got to throw, we I ain't throwing many of the jackals. We got to throw that gold one. Yeah, through the gold one. The that demo was day. Hey, it, it rolled good for yep. both of us, man. We really like that one. Uh, I've only had a few motive uh, pieces, uh, but... All of them I've had so far, you know, they're real good for me. Mm -hmm. They stayed in the bag for uh, quite a while. The Venom Shock Pearl and that uh, the Venom Recoil, man. Yeah, both of them. It's still in one of my tournament bags, so I take still take it with me. It still rolls good. Tournaments? Tournament, tournament bowl. What? I know, tournament? Man. <laughs> What are you no, talking about, uh, tournament? It happens every now and then for a real league bowler, man. You got to get out there and uh, you know go have some fun with with your buddies. Uh, all right, man. So that's the uh, new uh, Alpha Jackal coming from Motive. Might try to get my hands on that one. 
Uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of balls. So, uh, yeah, if you ain't get motors, good company. So yes, man. Hey, they make good bowling balls. They do make good stuff. If you haven't tried motive stuff, uh, I've done, only done a few, but a look, I mean, yeah, they roll really man. good. Yeah. Like we said, you know, the ones we've thrown have been been pretty good, man. So, uh, while we were, uh, while we didn't do a show, uh, 900 Global uh, released, uh, released a couple more Badgers. Uh-oh, 900, 900 Badgers. Badger. Here we go, man. So they uh, they got uh, a solid and a pearl. What are they called? What a honey badger extremes, bud. Yeah. Okay. So these are the exact same balls, just a solid and a pearl. Uh, they still got the same. Uh, I think it's called the shrapnel weight block. Is that what it was called, man? Grapnel. Grapnel. Grapnel or something like that. Grapnel. Weight block. The same one that was in the uh, the honey badger, the original honey badger. And, uh, it's the asymmetric version. But on these two, they have, on the old honey badgers and stuff like that, they were just straight cover stock to core. Yeah, they so, were two-piece balls. This is yes, a three-piece. They have changed these to three-piece balls. Uh, now, the on some of those old honey badgers, man, the numbers, the origin differentials uh, between 16, 15, and 14 were, like, completely different. Yeah, that's what's going to happen on your two-piece balls because you yes. can't really... Yeah, modify things. So they have on these they took and put the filler in. So now these are three piece balls. So on your different weights, the numbers are going to be more similar uh, on these. Man, let's yeah. let, let's and take what a, what that does is it helps lower the RG on the ball. Yeah, like yeah. all your two piece balls are going to be higher RG, but uh, when you add that filler material, the core right. outside the weight block that lowers your RG. Right, because it makes it more makes the ball head. roll earlier. And if uh rev up sooner this past monday uh over yeah, on radicals Mopinel. channel uh Mopinel put out a pretty good video this week uh we're big fans of uh Mopinel. both of us are uh we always watch you know most of his stuff so uh hey check out this video and he explains the difference between two piece and three piece balls and uh why they why they do that sometimes uh you know to try to get the reaction they're wanting out of the ball and, and the shape out of it so you can go check those out but this, the, this one has the S74R solid cover this stock. This is a solid one. Okay, yeah, so the, the uh, Honey RG, Badger Extreme solid. RG is 2.54, which okay. is lower. is 2.6 or something on the other yeah, one. On the, yeah, so they've lowered the RG. Differential is 0.053. So, so I'm sure that's pretty that's, aggressive. Yeah. Man, so. What was on the other one? Wasn't that how was it? No, definitely not on, on the 14 pounds. It was like 14. It was real man. low, but yeah. yeah. On the fifteen, I don't <coughs> recall off the top of my head what the what the ones yeah. were for the honey badgers. So but this one's purple, solid, purple, black, and blue. Let me see. Uh, that ain't too bad, I guess. Yeah, it's got like orange lettering on it. Orange letters on the solid one. Uh, the uh, pearl version is like uh, what the is pearl it, version's white? got the same exact specs and everything. Yeah. It's just got a is it, is it the same cover, just pearl. Yeah. So you said it's what the S seventy. S seventy four R pearl on the Honey Badger Extreme Pearl. What's the colors look like on that one, man? It's like a red and white. Oh, okay. Like a, yeah, it's pretty, man. It'll probably look pretty cool rolling down the lane. Yeah, it's it's uh. It's like a red, yeah. white, and black. Yeah, it ain't bad looking, man. Yeah, oh, I yeah. think that one will look pretty cool. Yeah, then and both shelf them, both yeah. of these are available like right now too, right? So like these aren't pre-ordered. They're they're out. I think they're out right now. Probably so. it's been. I've I've seen them on there for a while. Yeah, I was talking to uh, one of our friends is on the Global Nine Hundred staff. Uh, Courtney Burks. Shout out Courtney Burks. Courtney. He said both of these balls. Uh, he said they roll pretty good for him, man. I didn't get a chance to watch him throw them at all yet. Uh, yeah. Maybe he'll he'll throw one Saturday, and you know we'll get to check it out. So, all right, man. So there's your uh, two new. Uh, Honey Badger Extremes from Global. Uh, the Badgers have been pretty good, pretty good balls. People seem mm. to like them, man. These are going to be different just because of the two. Yeah, these are definitely going to be different. Your break yeah. point's going to be a little bit sooner on the lane. Yep, so uh, so we'll have to check those out. Maybe we'll get a hold of, you know, one of them or something down the line sometime. So, all right, man. So, uh, there you go. There's the new Badgers. And, uh, Bud, uh... Man, you know, I was, uh, I was super excited about that new m and V2 coming out, man. When You're it was, not uh, excited anymore? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not as excited, man. Hey, 
Man, they dropped that thing, and the price was $169, man. I, I wasn't expecting that. That's, that just seems it's a little... Seasonal. It's seasonal. It's hard rare. to come by, man, but... Ooh, that's what you do with rare bowling balls. $169 for, you know, I, I don't know, man. I just couldn't justify picking one of those up for that price. You know, it was just... It was the same way with the Storm Pro Motion. Well, maybe man. you can justify it next year when they re-release it. May <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll be rich then, and, and I'll be able to scoop one up. But I, I'm, I'm, I haven't seen anybody throw one yet, but no. from what I've heard, that, I mean, they're pretty good. Um, I had a couple of our friends that pre-ordered them, so I'm looking forward to seeing them throw it. Yeah. You know, I just can't justify. I don't think spending. we went over the no have we went over the numbers on this one yet? I think we I don't have. know, man. We could do it real quick. Yeah, it's uh, RG's two point four six, differentials point zero five one. Right. It's got the Trimax nineteen reactor it's a, cover it's stock, a new modified V two cover core. It's an updated version of the yeah, the Trimax, Trimax cover stock. Which was that was a good cover stock back It was, the day. yeah. They they made a lot of a lot of good balls out of that one, man. So uh, you know, it might be it might be a great ball. It might be, you know, I, I know I'd probably like it just because of the numbers and the dark color, man, but I ain't going to pay that much for one, man. And I know they're limited, so it's not like you're, you're probably not going to see them on a clearance sale or anything like that. So, I mean, if you want one, you're definitely going to have to pay up for it. People are probably buying these and stock or wait till next too. year. Well, they ain't going to be the same. They're going to mm. be made by Brunswick next year. Mm. These are... This is probably the last ball that was made by Evan Knight before. In USA. Yeah, before they were uh, bought out by Mexican, you know, by Brunswick. So we don't know if, uh, you know, we don't know if they're gonna keep if they're gonna make them anymore or not, man. So who knows what the plan is? So, all right, bud, there you go. That was just uh, I wanted to touch on the V two because I told you guys I was excited about it. I was. Gonna, I Real was. Excited. I was. You know, I figured they'd probably be like 139, you know, somewhere around there, man. But when I saw that, you know, 169 price tags, I, I can't do it, man. So, uh, all right, man. So then uh, the other day or yesterday, sometime I heard that, uh, you know, I heard that they got a new Roto Grip HP4 line ball coming out. I don't know anything about it. Uh, you know, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's been a while since Roto Grip put out. They've had the halos for. How many of those they got now? Four? Four. Three? Oh, and the uh, Halo, the Pearl, and the Vision. Vision. So I guess that was three. The hybrid, yeah, they just had, I think they just had Solid, Pearl, and Hybrid. Right. But so. they might have had another one on them. Well, yeah, so from what I'm hearing, it's supposed to be a brand new line. Uh, so, you know, maybe new cover stock, new cores. So HP4 line the for Vision Rover was grip. pretty good ball. We threw that one in demo. Yeah. I like the way it rolled, man. It was just real smooth the whole mm -hmm. way down the lane. People have had good success with it around here yep. that have had it. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that, man. I haven't, I haven't owned a roto grip ball. And yeah, that, this Wild ball Strike's time. probably the only the second or third roto grip ball I've ever thrown in my life. Is it? I think I had a roto grip Saturn back in the day. Saturn. <laughs> Yeah, remember they had all the planet the balls and Pluto and the Neptune. Yeah, I think I had one of them. I think I had a Neptune. Didn't yeah. you have a Pluto? I had the one of I them. Had I had Pluto the back then. Or Pluto, I don't remember. But I had one of them, and then I had the RS1 when you had the RSX. Oh, that and that's ball was the, good, too. And that's the only balls I the last <laughs> one, the grip. The last one I remember having was an original sale. Just the original, the blue and black one kind of. That's the last. Uh, that's the last roto grip ball I remember having, man. So, uh, I've been wanting to try a new one for a while. So, you know, hopefully this one will be something that I'm interested in, and I uh, want we'll to want we'll to see about picking that one up and uh, getting a look at it, man. There's also uh, I, I ran across these new uh, these new uh, switch grip thumb things, Joe Po. Yeah, I, I never heard of them before until I see somebody talk about them on one of the forums on the Facebook there. They're called like Jopo Twist Grips, man. It's supposed to be yeah. some kind of new. Yeah. If uh, any of y'all out there have ever tried them, let yeah. us know about hey. them. How they, how they, you know, you like them. And they're, stuff. Supposed to, they're supposed to be different. Like they got a, a different way that they twist the in there and stuff. So I've been doing a little bit of research on those. So uh, we might have to try and get our hand. Y'all know how I feel about Switch Grips normally. 
I had one break on me, and I've seen I've seen a couple more break, and you know, just go flying down the lane. So uh, we still, or I still stick to just the old standard slug and just work that thumb out on every ball. So uh, you know, this might be something. You know, we might have to might have to look into it if it's you know, hopefully you know, try it out. Maybe try it out down the line, man. So I just don't see it with us. I don't, we don't bowl that much. So I see if you bowl a lot more. But I yeah, mean, we'll, I, I don't know what we'll the cost see. is yeah. on them or anything like that. If you gotta have yeah. a special, I'm sure you gotta have like a special drill bit, like with the other ones. So yeah. uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to look into those a little bit more, man. All right, bud. We're at what the 15 minute mark here, man. You got anything else? Uh, you gonna shout out Billy Willis? Yeah, hey, check out this beauty right here, bowlers. <laughs> hey, one of a kind. Wait, oh, hey, this is this is an awesome ball, man. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Uh, yeah, shout out to my dude Billy Willis uh, for coming through with this old clear uh, Omega, Ebonite Omega Lion, man. I've never seen one of them before. Hey, this thing is super cool. It's uh, it's clear. Uh, it's the weight blocking. You can see. I mean, mm -hmm. I know it's hard to see on camera, but yeah. um, it's, it's what cores in it? The Omega core? Omega Line core, man. <clears throat> uh, Omega Line was one. So of it's the, just a plastic ball with Omega. Yeah, it's just core in it. Yep. I have to try to throw it. Yeah, you can take it. You <laughs> He's can, like, you ain't touching this one. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it out of there, man. Hey. Hey, I've been looking for this one for a long time, so shout out to my man Billy Willis. Yeah. It's in great shape too, man. It, is. it looks pretty. This is probably one of the <clears throat> this is probably the rarest ball we that we got in the balls of fame now, man. So uh yeah. uh shout out to you, Bill, man. I Didn't appreciate you say it. it used to be uh Yeah, it used to belong to one of our uh local legends. Local bowling legends around here too, man. So the story that goes with it's pretty cool. So uh definitely glad to have this one in the in the balls of fame collection. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I've been looking for it for a long time. So I like the Omega line, uh, the, those balls. I like the sky yeah, blue. Man, and the the Omegas are good stuff, man. Didn't the Omega have a, line, like a sky blue color. Omega dry. Is that what that was? That's the gray one. Like. one. Uh, a lot of those Omega balls. Those were some of the first reactive balls, you know, to come out of the pipe from having night. They were good, man. So, all right, so uh, there's that, man. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy Willis. Billy Willis. And also on set today, man, we got the old gravity uh -oh. ball. He's been sitting out in the garage. <laughs> he's been sitting out in the garage Ball, for a Baller said a he's month, too man. old to drill now. <laughs> it's not new enough for him hey, anymore. I even decided if I want to punch this thing up yet or not, man. Bowlers, what you think? Would y'all like to see an episode of In League Bar View on the Gravity Evolve out there? Or should I just move this along and get something else? I already threw it for the demo nights. I liked it, man. Uh, but you know, I don't know if there's a need to, you know, punch it up and do a whole another episode of In League Bar Review on it. So, hey, let let us know if you'd like to see an episode on this, or if if we should move it along and maybe try to scoop something different, man. So, uh, I definitely like the way it rolled, though. It yeah, rolled it rolled good, good for me. It rolled good for me. I could get in deep with it, send it out, and it would, it would run back. So, I'm sure, there's a lot of people that would like to have it if it was. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I've been having some problems with my wrist lately. I've been, been bowling, bowling too much. I have, every man. Night me and uh, me and Stoff, we went down to uh, or I guess it's kind of up to uh, Cynthia, Kentucky this go. week. Bowled at uh, Galactic Alley. Shout out to our folks out there in Cynthia, Galactic Alley. Cynthia. Bowled in the uh, Tommy Fryman Memorial Tournament this week with the. Yeah. Uh, Chris oh yeah! Stoff Shout out Justin. to Chris Dolph. Shot hey, at three hundred out there. Our dude Chris Dolph. Uh, we rode out there together. It's about an hour and a half from where we're at. He went out there, man. We drove all the way up there, both three games, man. He shot three hundred. All 12 of these were just packed, dude. I'm going to throw the video up yeah, in that's here. The, the line he was playing, that's his line. He's when mashing. When he gets in that tight little where you can fire it right there, up the bolt, <laughs> like kind of up 10 or whatever he was at. Yeah, he got locked just in that crushing. second game, dude. When he gets locked in, it's just power yeah. and pins go flying everywhere. So, yeah, shout out to my man, Christoph. Uh, we had a good time bowling out there, man. So, uh, 
it, it was a nice bowling alley. I think that's the first time I've ever been in there. So uh, it was it was pretty cool, man. So what shout out to all the guys. Galactic that's Alley. That's a cool ass thing. It, <laughs> it was cool. I've never heard of it. It was a cool little center, man. I think it had 14 lanes in there. So uh, there's a couple of local guys that made the trip too. So we got to boat them. We had a, we had a good time out there. So, you went out with who was it? Chris Preston. Chris and Josh Preston, Josh Preston. from uh, Frankfurt. So uh, shout out to you guys too, man. All right, bud. We're about the 20 minute mark here. That's usually where we like to keep it. Uh, you got anything else you'd uh, like to say or talk about this week? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, then. Hey, bowlers, always remember, hey, check out BowlingNights.com. Check out our latest videos up there. Check out the Bowling Nights Balls of Fame. All our classic favorite bowling balls up there. Uh, help a bowler out if you can. We appreciate it, man. Uh, hey, Bo, we reached 1,500 subscribers. Hey! 1,500 subscribers yeah. the other day. Appreciate, so, uh, appreciate hey. all the love. Thank you, bowlers. Yeah, it means a lot you. to both of us and yep. all the guys out there. Uh, all, all the guys that help us do this, man. Hey, we like to do these videos because it's fun. This is what we like to do. Uh, we're Real League Bowlers, man. So uh, check out our Real League Bowlers Facebook group. Uh, we have a good time in there, man. Everybody's positive. Uh, you know, uh, you know, just share your scores, share videos, share memes, you know. Just uh, get in there with your like-minded bowlers, man. We, uh, we like to have a good time, so... All right, bud, uh, I guess this is going to do it for this uh, episode of the Real League Bowlers Experience, episode 20. 20 episode 20. 20, 20, 20. Uh, hey, man, we come a long way. <laughs> That's 20 episodes, Came man. Came a long way. We come a long way, man. Our dude JoJo's coming over tonight to drill up a Brunswick Phantom. Oh, so, look uh, out. Hey, look out, America. Hey, he did throw that. I, I, we fixed that thumb hole in the conspiracy hybrid for him. The Bubby threw. Hey, he said that ball was garbage too. So Corey said he liked it. No, that's what Corey told me. No, I said it real good for him. He said, "Yeah, when he threw it, because he was no. throwing it all over the place." Hey, we'll, we'll get him on here and talk. <laughs> we'll let him talk about it. Yeah, he told me. He told me. Joey told me what's up, man. So, yeah, sure. Uh, all right, that's gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> vindication, vindication. That's yeah. all I can say. All right, then. Hey, till next time. I'm Joe Bowler. Bud. This is Bud. Yeah. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> Later, America. Later, Bowlers. <laughs>